Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh, man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about that? Earl Spence versus your Dennis Ugas. Man, it is going to be one of the best fights of this year because this fight right here, the welterweight division, you see one man walk away with three belts. Not one, not two, but three belts. That puts him one belt closer to being the undisputed champion of the world in the welterweight division man a lot of people are speculating on the fight a lot of stars De La Hoya, ryan garcia you know so many people i mean so many boxers and fighters have came out and stated who they think is going to win mm, mm, mm. And I mean, it's less than 24 hours before somebody take all the power. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to be crazy. Phenomenal. Because you have Earl Spence that was in a hor horrific accident. Then had to get surgery on his eye. So two almost career ending instances in this man's life that made him appreciate the fight game even the more appreciate family appreciate living appreciate life appreciate the sport of boxing even more and you comparing that against someone that came from cuba tried six times to get over here did almost a year in prison to get over here in the U.S. just to compete to be a world champion. Wow, that's some serious stuff right there. Some serious story right there. Came from behind being 15 and three to now being one of the elite boxers in the world that has the WBA welterweight championship belt. And it's putting it on the line up against Earl, the truth, Spence, that has the WBC and the IBF welterweight championship titles. One man will walk out victorious. One man will have a chance to fight Terrence Crawford for the undisputed championship of the world. And a lot of people are saying Earl Spence going to win. And then you got a lot of people saying your Dennis Ugas is going to upset him. I mean, for real, for real, it is a pick em fight. I say it's a 50-50 fight. But I slightly give Earl Spence the edge just because his confidence has always been on another level. His fighting ability far as Working on the inside and tagging that body has been far as one of the elites. And if he's able to do that against Rodinus Ugas, I can definitely see Rodinus Ugas taking maybe one, maybe two eight counts. But I do see it going probably the distance, maybe. But it just depends on how much can Rodinus Ugas take. Can he take those body shots for 12, 13 rounds? That's the trick. That's the trick. You know, see, a lot of people don't realize that Earl Spence has a little secret weapon. A lot of times when he spars, he spars with heavier weights. What do you mean by heavier weights? Heavier weight classes, like middle weights light heavyweights, things of that nature, super middleweights, because when those guys are hitting on you, it makes the power of a welterweight hitting a little bit less, right? Smart, genius, 
I love him for that. That's one of the reasons why I choose Earl Spence to win this fight. You know, because that definitely gives him the edge. But I tell you what, this is going to be an awesome fight. I really do mean an awesome fight. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, this is what the sport of boxing is about. It's about championship fights. It's about the best fighting the best at the end of the day. We can see all the no names and new names and rookies and, and veterans get their chance and their due date to fight, to, to earn their money, to do whatever they need to do. But it comes a time where we need real fights. We need real legitimate fighters to step in the ring and fight one another. You know, all that dipping and dodging and hiding, you know, I don't want to fight him and I don't want to forget that. Make it an elimination. You know, it needs to be some type of organization in boxing. If not any organization, then it just needs to be honest realness to look at what the fans want. What are the fans willing to pay to see? What do they want to see? They don't want to see all these, you know, no name fights. You know? But anyway, you know, hey, it is what it is. But I tell you what. This right here is one of those fights that you live for. One of the fights that you wake up and get your food and popcorn and call your friends over, you know, have it on pay-per-view on the big screen. This is that type of fight. This is that type of fight where you go to the actual stadium and watch this fight live to be there, to get the press, to buy your shirt, to buy the merch, to memorialize the event in that moment in time that I was there at the Earl Spence Jr. versus your genius, Yugas fight. This joint gonna be on Showtime pay per view. So you already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere and definitely go to my website, primetimetalktv.com. All right, y'all. Peace, love, fam.